in terms of discerning God's voice and filtering things, it's a process and it's a journey. And by training your senses to discern, what you're doing is aligning your thinking with God's thinking. And that primarily the easiest way of doing that is love. Um, and every time you maybe you have a question about where's this thinking coming from, A, sometimes you have thinking that you've never had before. So that's a good indication it's not coming from yourself. But there can be things that are lodged within us that can come into our mind, into our conscious mind from the triggers that may be within us emotionally or other things. So I wouldn't say that that's a foolproof way of, of discerning, but I do feel love is the best way. So always ask the question, does this align to love? And that love is unconditional. So if your thinking is, well, I should do this, or I should do that, or I shouldn't do this, or I shouldn't do that, that's a good indication that it's coming from your own soul, or it's an accusation that is trying to uh, deceive you. Because God is never going to say should. He's not going to say you should do this. You must do that. He is wanting a relationship in which the desires of your heart are aligned to his desires. Therefore, by spending time aligned to his heart and engaged with his heart, the more his desires will be outworked in your desires and your desires will be aligned. Um, and that is renewing the mind effectively, because the way you think will be more akin to his thinking than anyone else's thinking or your past thinking. But love is the best way of framing it. And I would always encourage everyone to just use love. Use it as a plumb line. Is this loving? Is that thought loving? Is this way of thinking, are my feelings there loving? And if you're ever in unforgiveness, you know it's not aligned to God and you know that's not the heart of God because God basically never keeps a record of wrongs and therefore wants us to be the same. So a lot of things are, are aligned to the reality of who God is as love, not to the religious version of the programming we may have had, which does cause confirmational bias that we sort of hear what we think we're going to hear because that's what we believe we should hear and therefore love is the good way of filtering all those things out and everything aligned to god is in love he is love his love is unconditional and therefore any religious stuff is going to put conditions on either what you receive or the reward for what you do and the end of the day god just wants you to be you he wants you to relax he doesn't want you to be stressed or anxious or worried or concerned about any of these things. Just follow through on the journey. Enjoy life. Have fun. God wants you to rejoice always, to have joy at the center of your heart. So rest is living in love, joy and peace. And God unconditionally loves you. His joy is in you and his peace is on you. So it's all from him. We don't have to generate love, joy, and peace ourselves. It is freely given by grace. His great love is unconditional. His grace is limitless and his mercy is triumphant. And as we live in that place of rest, we can enjoy life and just keep walking with him. And he will do whatever we need to do. Don't need to try and do it yourself. Allow him to lead. And he will unveil the things that are potentially in your thinking, which aren't true. And he'll show you in alignment to the truth because it's the light of love and it's the light of truth. So he'll shine the light on the things that need uh, being brought into the light because he loves you and he wants to make you whole in every way. So just enjoy the journey and don't second guess yourself, but you can just lose love. Ask the question, is that loving? Is that aligned to love? That will give you a starting point. But the closer you get to God and the more you know the very way God is, who he is, that frequency will allow you to see other things which are not in that frequency. Things become discordant. Things just don't feel right. And that is you know, where your senses are being trained and you're becoming mature, more mature in understanding and being aware of those things which are you know, like God and those things which aren't.
If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.